Hey, hello everyone and welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create an square menu in Android Kotlin. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. Let's create an empty Kotlin project and here I had given it name as Elastic View. So for now, just ignore this name and let's start creating our square menu. So uh, change your project structure to project and then uh, under the source file you can see under the main folder you can find your main Kotlin file. This is our main Kotlin file and the resource file in layout folder this is our main uh, XML file right. So in order to create a square menu we need to use some external libraries. So just go to chrome and search for square menu library right. So this is our library which is created by Dev Android and it is one of the most beautiful library to create a square menu. Uh, this type of square menu we can create by using this library right. So in order to create this square menu, just in, uh, we need to include this library into our project, right? So just copy the dependency from here and go to our project and under the build.gradle file, you can paste it in dependencies folder. But I had already did that, so just do that, right? Now again, go to our library and you need to, in order to use this library, you need to include this Marvin URL into our, your project, right? So just go to build.gradle file and under repositories, just paste it here. And after that sync your project after successfully syncing your project now your project is ready to use square menu library right so just me go to activity underscore main file and just copy this xml code from here and paste it into your project so by using this code i had created two square menus here right from one is of blue color and another is of red color by using fab color this tag you can change the color of your square menu right and then you can add the sub menus to your square menu by using this tag app colon icon m1 m1 which means menu 1 and then in uh, same using same tag you can add multiple menus into your project right and then under the drawables folder i had uh, added some images and this i will use this image as an icon of my project so uh, icon m1 equals to i had given the part of my icon right so i had same did same for my both the square menus and then I had given it ID as SM and uh, uh, and then I had used some uh, tags right so uh, when I click on square menu the sub menus will be appear at the, uh, at the different direction right so for that I had used this tag menu open direction top right right uh, right so in this way you can control the direction of your sub menus right and then when you will hover your pointer over the sub menus at that time it will show hand using this tag you can change that pointer icon tag right so in this way we can create the square menus now after that uh, we need to perform some actions on our square menu as well as sub menus right so just go to main.kotlin file and then here we will create the variable of our square menu uh, and by using find ID, we will assign this variable to our square menu right and then uh, we'll perform set on many click listener uh, uh, me method on that square menu and in round brackets we will pass the object on menu click listener right and in curly brackets we will override all the five functions now i'll explain you one by one these functions how it works when uh, you will click on your square menu at that time uh, it will call the function called as on menu open and it will perform this action right and then when you will click on and then as we have created three sub menus right so it overrides these three sub functions for the menu 1, menu 2 and menu 3 and when you will click on menu 1 it will uh, uh, it will uh, uh, call this function and will, when you will click on menu 2 it will call this function and same for function 3 and when you will uh, close all the sub menus at that time it will close or call on menu close right and it will perform this function. So in this way you can create this uh, square menu and perform the actions on that square menu as well as sub menu. Let's run the program and see if, if it uses expected output or not. So as you can see this is our program uh, which I had uh, created now and here we are having two sub uh, two square menus and when I click on the sub menu it shows it square menu it shows me the sub menus right uh, and as you can see I had click and it shows you open which means open menu method has been called and these are my sub menus when I click on the first sub menu it shows me toast message as menu 1 and for second it shows me toast message as menu 2 and for third it shows me toast message as menu 3 and when again I close my square menu at that time it will show me toast message as closed so which means this all overriding functions are, has been working properly fine so in this way you can create the square menu for your android application in using android Kotlin and you can perform the various actions on the sub menu. So hope you will like this tutorial and thanks for watching.